Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to tell you where I get all of my beading supplies from beads to backing, everything you need. So first off, I have this amazing resource on my website called Beading Resources where you can find everything that I use. Everything is organized by category, such as beads, findings, backings, etc. And I've added direct product links for certain items. So Beedazzle is one of my favorite places to get beads in particular. They're located in Surrey, BC. And this is their website right here, so you can see they've got all their new arrivals and they've got lots of different stuff. So I mostly shop for my seed beads here, so you can see you can find them under whatever size and style that you like. So if we look at Miyuki size 11, you can see there's just so many different colors and finishes and they're really gorgeous and they are really good prices too. You can get a tube of beads from three to nine dollars dependent on the color and the type of bead that you're getting. So I really love them. What I also like is their search function works really well on their website. So if I'm looking for size 11 beads in red, I can just type that in and see all of the ones that they have in red. They also have lots of findings. So you can see they've got earring hooks, they've got flathead posts, they've got backings, they've got wire guards, which I know everybody has been asking me for. This is also where I buy my thread. So if you just search Nymo, you can see all the different sizes that they have here, as well as they've got tons of different colors, which is great. And they come in different quantities. So you can buy little spools if you're not gonna use a lot, like these ones, or if you want, you can buy these larger cones so then you don't have to buy new thread for like a year, which is great. So I buy Nymo size B. I find that this works great for fringe earrings as well as for flat beadwork, and it's just really versatile. I can use it for everything. And I bought the massive cone for $40, and I've had it for almost a year, and I'm still only probably halfway through it, so it'll last you forever, which is great. This is also where I get my long needles. So if you look up loom needle and you'll find these tulip ones, I believe they're size 10 and I really like them. Next is Sunday Lace. So they are indigenous owned and female owned and they also have a lot of really great stuff. So here's their website and you can see they got tons of beads, gems, backing. You can find probably every single thing you'll need from here. They're located in Nova Scotia in Canada and you can see all the different stuff they've got here. I also love they do um, like curated collections every month so the color of the month is yellow and I think that's super fun. So you can go here same thing you can look up your specific size of beads you can also look at all these detailed uh, different filters as well which is really great. So some colors uh, sell out quickly you can also search here and I find that theirs is quite effective as well as a search and then I can see here all of these pink ones are in stock and all the out of stock ones are further ahead, which is great. What I also like is that when you come up to a page like this, it'll show you how many are available. That way you know if you should buy like three or four packs of them because you're gonna be using a lot of them or whether or not you can just buy what you need for the moment. They've also got buy cones, which are really nice. And they've got great backing material here too. So you can see they've got some of the basic ones. They've got glow in the dark, that's really cool. And then they've also got some patterns. This is also where you can get the glitter backing that everybody asked me about. Um, so you can see if you go into these leather ones, you can see they've got all these glitters here. Again, you do have to be careful. A lot of them will sell out, but I'll show you somewhere else you can get backing later on. Another thing I want to highlight here is they've got great resources. So you can see just the basics. This is great because it's got all those basic things that you'll need um, from backing to felt to needles to thread and beads. They're also a great place for resources. If you go here to the VIP beading blog, they've got tons of resources on what kind of thread you should be using for different projects. Um, for tips on how to bead different things like typography as well as lots of pictures videos things like that It's a really great resource for when you're just learning I would also recommend this for if you're looking for a starter kit So if you just search kit here, you can see they've got lots of kits with curated centers banding beads um, as well as backing and foundation so that way you can just buy one kit, like for $40 right here, you get tons of stuff and then you can make a bunch of projects for your beginning stages of beading. And you can see these are really pretty too. They also have a fringe earring uh, kit right here. You can see this would be a really great one to get to to get started. It's only $20. 
and it also comes with everything you need, including needles and thread, which is really awesome, and a tutorial sheet to help you get started. The next place is Cedar Ridge Company. They're also a female and indigenous owned company. So they're located in Port Alberni on Vancouver Island in BC and they've got tons of things. Um, I love to go here for beads and cabs. So they've got lots of great things here. So same thing, you can look on the new page. They've got all the new arrivals and they show some of their new items like they've got backing and fun beads. They've got thread, kind of everything that you can find here as well is really great. Something I'd recommend here too for beginner beaters is they've got lots of sets so you can buy beautiful colors like this in a bunch of different uh, styles and colorways. These are really great. They've also got the kits that have matching cabs and banding, things like that, so you can buy kind of little collections yourself, which are a great way to get started. Next is Cedar Lily. They are female indigenous run as well, and they are operating out of Ontario, Canada. So I love to come here specifically for beads. Um, again, they've got lots of great colors as well as they've got vintage beads, which is really awesome. I would say they do have a smaller selection than the other ones I've shown you so far, but they do also have some really unique items that you're not going to find at the other beading places. Another female and indigenous owned business is the Goodland Co. Uh, this is a great place to get backing and banding material. So all of my beautiful glittery backing that everybody asked me about, I've gotten a bunch of them from her and they are absolutely stunning. She also has patterns which are great for beginner beaters and lots of pretty banding so you can spice up your beadwork. Like look at this beautiful black backing with the rainbow glitters in it. It's just beautiful. I'm obsessed with this one. Another place I like to get supplies is Michael's, so it's super convenient and they also have a lot of things. So I like to get my needles here typically. Uh, I buy this 12 pack here in size 10 or 12. They also have an amazing selection of like glittery Swarovski beads and natural stones and like look at all these ones that I got. They're just absolutely gorgeous. You also might see I have some fancy hoops. Uh, that I do a lot of my beadwork on and I love to get it from Michaels and it is from their bead landing creations line so this has a ton of really cool and unique different hoops and findings that you can use you can see the hexagon ones here I do the gold ones to do my bee fringe earrings so I really love this collection and I'd recommend picking up some of these Another great place to get beads is on Facebook. So I've actually joined quite a few groups. So here's an example here, it's Canadian Bead Supply. So you'll see people will auction off their different findings and cabs, things like that. So it's really easy. You just comment your bid and then they'll announce a winner at a given date and time. So this is a great place to get packs of beads if you're a beginner beater and just want something to get started and do some projects. And lastly, I also like to go to Etsy, especially when I'm looking for enamel charms. So I often just search enamel charms and then whatever I'm looking for, you can also tailor to what country you're in so you can get them quickly. So you can see there's lots of really cute ones out there. Uh, I like to get my little bee ones from here as well as the little strawberries. And yeah, that's it. So check out my resource if you want to get all the product links. And thanks so much for watching.